Are you going to say present and future? Visible and invisible? Visible and visible? For me. For me. For my house. My house? For my family. My family. For my relationship. My relationship. For what I want to know. And what I want to know. And what do you want to know? I want to know is BSing me just so I go back and he continues to do the same thing. Okay. And also I want you to say for what's hidden. And what's hidden. And the God of the saints? And the God of the saints. We'll reveal the answers to my questions. Reveal the answers to my questions. There we go. Can you say what up? Amen. What's up, Bernie? And I'm on set. <laughs> He's always on. I love that guy. <laughs> Bernie, what's up? <clears throat> Here we go, Mark. The first two coming out. Oh. Yeah, I gotta throw two more. It's either both going different ways. I gotta see which way it's gonna go. I already knew it. Okay. So it says a woman who's just who's upside down spiritually. It said and something that's hidden. It says you're afraid to lose again. It says but you believe and what's crazy is you believe that he's your true love, right? Right. And what's funny is it pops up in your cards that he is. So. That's hard to understand because of the things that are going on. But you have to understand that men are stupid. We're like dumb idiots. It takes us a long time to finally grow up. And if you allow us to do certain things, we'll continue to do them. Until you finally mold us the way you need to. That's why I'm saying, if you're going to work with me, if you want to work with me, there's a lot you got to do to change this man. Because he knows what you want to hear. And I need you to set the tone so that you have limits and boundaries. So that you know what your worth is and your value. Right, girls? That's right. I understand. Okay. It says in the past, it says there was no fruit in the tree. So past meaning, you know, it could be weeks ago, months ago. It seemed like, like things were just horrible. Now it says, presently, it says things are just delayed. So they're just kind of delayed. It says, and in the future, there's no triumph. It says that going up the ladder, it says things still from the past. So this is what I'm afraid of. It says, and then comes a drastic change or change of home. It says there's no sun. And it says, depending on what road you go down. It says, no temptation. So are you drinking? No. Good. It says, something that comes to cut off your head. So whatever you do, don't give in to any of your temptations right now. I was thinking of drinking tonight. I'm not even going to lie. Wow. Don't. Don't do it. Don't do it because I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. You're going to drink. You're going to be cool. You're going to start to get a little buzzed. You're going to start thinking about him. You're going to cry. You're going to be depressed. You're going to be hurt. Then you're going to call him to find out if he's being real. But the problem is you're not being real to yourself. Because if you drink, you're going to already be affected. You have no inhibitions when you drink. Mm -hmm. So it's something to think about. Okay. Let's get started. We're going to the middle. This might be a long one. It says, so it says no brew involved. It says a man that's upside down. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, what? Oh, good. <laughs> okay. Oh, it says the problems do go away. It says, but rest assured of one thing. You won't be alone. So... You can, there's a, there's a saying that my mother-in-law says, mejor que estar solo que mal acompañado. Mm -hmm. Right now, if you get back with them, yeah, you'll be with them, but it won't be the way you want things to be. All right? Okay. Let's, go ahead. What were you going to say? No, I said I understand. Okay. They're not going to be the way I want them to be. Unless you do some changing. So, again, I'm going to give you the last, this is the last time I'm going to give you 24 hours, but you need to really think about what I'm saying. Everything I'm saying to you tonight, you have to know that if you fuck up, you're going to fuck up my family. And I have a one-year-old son. Yeah. So you have to be sure you're going to do everything I tell you, even if you're like, I don't want to do that. And I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to do, guys, am I going to do anything that's bad for her? Absolutely. Nope. But what I'm going to do is change the way you think and the way you are so that you can get what you want.
And that takes you being strong. Really strong. Michelle went through some shit, some changes in her life with her family, with her sister, with relationships. And it was tough, right? Dude. <laughs> but look at, she's a different person now. So, something to think about. Here we go. Okay. We're going to go on this one. It says, fear of loss. It says, there's nothing magically that you can do. It says, rest, it says, there's, it's true what I'm telling you. You will turn me upside down. So that's already telling me you'll turn me upside down. So let's just say you come to work with me. And all of a sudden, I tell you, you can't have sex with them. Can you handle that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. All right. You can do, you'll do everything I, I ask you. Okay. I don't know about everything, but I can do that. I'm, I, I've done it before. Well, I'm not going to tell you to do anything bad. I'm not going to tell you to go. I'm not going to tell you to do anything stupid. I'm going to tell you to stand up for yourself. I'm going to tell you to get your self-esteem back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have you fight for what your worth is and your value. Okay. All right? It says okay. you'll be discontent and then you'll be depressed if you turn on me. So if you turn on me, it's going to affect everything around you. Everything will just go to shit. That's why I'm very cautious about who I immediately jump in with because if I know you're going to fail me, I don't want to go there. Yeah. So I just warned you right now. So and then it says your true love. It says... A woman who's upside down offers love, but there's one obstacle. It says returning to love with a man. It says, so, talks about money. So, financially, what is he doing? I don't know. He's retired military. Retired military. He's but yeah. School, I know that. So he still has money though, right? Yeah, he still has attention. Okay, so... Is he trying to go back to get a degree, or what's he trying to do? Because it's talking about him having money again. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's gonna graduate in June with a degree in communication. <laughs> he's gonna make a lot of money. So that's what scares me. If you don't dial him in before this happens, with more money comes more power, and more opportunities to fuck around. Okay. So if you're gonna, if this is the man that you're in love with, you need to make some changes now, right now that you have him on the ropes. All right? It says, what's delayed? It says, this is being delayed presently. It says, you're still angry at him. So you're still angry, but you're hurt. But not to where you want to lose the whole relationship. It says, even though you know it's not healthy for you, it says, there's no end. It says, and that's the burden on your back. That's what usually causes you problems all over again. Because you don't trust him. No. But you love him. Yeah. So in order for you to build this relationship, you got to tear back, tear down the foundation of what your first relationship is. I always hear people say, I just want things to go back to the way they were. Do you? No. I want a different relationship. I want a brand new relationship. Okay, good. My thing is, when he came back from the military, uh -huh. I wasn't the same person anymore. And I had a therapist tell me, you need to love this new person. And I couldn't. I, I didn't know how. I kept wanting the old person. I'm very aware of that. Okay. That's my mistake. Here's the one thing that's going to scare me, though. When I change you, because you will change. I think all my girls have changed at some point, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Except for Vanessa. Um, <laughs> but no, Vanessa's getting there. But you're going to change. You may not want him, and I'll put him right on your lap. You may not want him anymore. You've become, you're starting to become liberated. And maybe you did this so you could buy you know buy some time or keep yourself busy, but there's a freedom in it, isn't there? Yeah. And there's a security in being in love with yourself. Mm -hmm. So, but you still want him, I know. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I mean, I get it from all of you guys. It says there's no triumph. This is the future. So there's no triumph. So you have children. Yeah, I have children that we don't have any in common. I have I have his stepchildren. I mean, well, they're grown now. I have one of my sons here, and the other one's visiting. And he came from his house. How old is the youngest? Of his? How old is yours? Uh, I have a seventeen-year-old girl. Okay, so there she is. There. We don't have any in common. Okay, I know, but there she is. There, it talks about her. Is she working? She's gonna be. Uh oh. She have a boyfriend? 
No, she's gay. Okay. Good. So there's a new beginning where the world's wide open. She's going to be working here soon. She's not a fool. So she's going to be no. she's going to be okay. She's a smart girl. Extremely. That's good. That's badass. I'm happy for her. She's not like her mom. That's why I tell her. <laughs> that she's not like Martha, don't don't say stuff like that because that just means you don't believe that you're an intelligent person. I think you are. No, I I'm intelligent. I'm just not as strong as she is. She's strong, strong. And maybe you you should learn from that. Yeah. I've learned a lot from my kids. I've learned a lot from the people who are around me. I never stop learning. You can learn something from everyone. So. We need you to get stronger so you can get what you want. It says the past. It says there's no decision you need to make here. You know what the past is and you know how hurt you've been. It says that's why things you're not in the relationship now and you're not believing what he's telling you. It says there's no hardship if there's no triumph. It says you must make everything complete first. So in other words saying if you don't give in to him right away, there's no hardship because you're not going to put yourself through the same shit. Am I shaking it? Sorry guys. Sorry, I'm shaking. It Estamos out. en California y hay puros terremotos. No, there's no terremotos. <laughs> Don't tell people that. Come on, guys. So, <laughs> sorry. You know what I got to deal with here, right? You understand now? <laughs> you, you completely understand. My camera guy's usually stoned. Like, what's crazy is my camera guy's usually stoned, so I'm surprised he's not making noise right now. My girls are. <laughs> my girls are always drinking and then me I'm just trying to get through this but you know I got to deal with all them at the same time so yeah yep. it says so what this is saying to you is that there's no decision you need to make you know that the past and the relationship in the past destroyed you it, it's destroyed you and you keep giving in and you keep giving in and then all that happens is the same thing because nothing's changed yeah. you need to be complete first before you take this back on because things aren't going good for him right now that's why he wants you back. Oh. Yeah. Watch. So I, like, I know I'm not supposed to get happy, but you know what? Get one of those. <laughs> I agree. I want him to take a little bit of his medicine. I agree. It says, it says a change that's coming. It's a big change. It says broken heart, but then a lots of love. So from broken heart to tons of love. It says, patience, you will be happy. It says, you just have to know how to master it. So basically, it's telling you you need to take care of you. It says there's no sun, which means no sunshine. Things are going to be good if things are left incomplete. It says there's no complete destruction and no karma for you, but your family's still going to be turned around upside down. So what you don't get is you're kind of the lifeblood of your family. And as you're there, if you're not happy, nobody's really happy. Nobody's happy. Yeah, because they see you and you're moping around and you're upset and you're depressed and it just nobody wants to see you hurt. You know what I mean? And nobody wants to see you going through this. So it's important that we never go through this again because what our children see is what they're going to go through at some point. And we don't want... And I don't want that. Yeah, I, of course yeah. not. I don't want my son to ever see me the way I was when I was younger. I was a piece of shit. Yeah. But I grew up. So it says, which road will you go down? It says 50-50, one's good and one's bad. And it talks about it, saying, which road will you go down? It says 50-50, black and white. Which one will you travel? It says the one where there's no opportunities, and that's the one where if you get back with them right now. You get back with them right now, he's going to watch you right there with them. He's going to watch you right there doing all this shit so he can get you comfortable again so that he can start doing his shit again. Yeah, no. No, we need to, we need to have our life now. He failed us. We deserve something more. Now, if he had been good to you, and then you guys are always together, that's cool shit. That's great stuff. That's good, good, good. But right now, he's going to have to accept you for who you're becoming and for the value that you have on what you were to him. Because the what you were to him is more valuable than he ever knows. It says that's the battle for you. It says, will you reconcile? There's reconciliation with an angry man. So does he know you're doing all this stuff? No. Oh, about the pole dancing? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, I just let him know right now. He was, he, he tried not to be salty about it, but he was back with aggressive. Oh, he's mad. Oh, he's mad. He's mad. That's cool. Yeah, because now he wrote, oh, well, if I want to be in an open relationship with him, he's fine. He's not going to get mad. Whatever, liar. 
Do you want to be in an open relationship? No, hell no. That's right. That's my girl. That's right. No, that's why I told him. I I literally, and I will even send you the screenshot. I even told him, I don't want your bullshit on her. Good. And he got salty. I'm not, no. It's either on my terms or it's nothing. No. That's my girl. I don't feel good. Yeah, girl. Yeah, girl. So you're ready now. Now I know you're ready. Yeah. Now I'll take you. I'm telling you, these 30 days with no contact has done, like, I'm living without him. I've been living without him. I'm stupid. I've been doing it without him for years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn. Like, no. Yes, girl. <laughs> girl yeah. power. I don't for nothing. And I know myself. He's not going anywhere. He can talk all his bullshit and threaten me and all that. He threatened me off. I don't want any contact. I'll never talk to you again. And here he is. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> You're not, he's not finding you and anybody else. You see, I told him that. you I'm cater not, to him. I'm, I'm an, yes, but I'm an original. If there's no substitute person, I'm sorry. Oh, I, got an, I got an original here at home. I know what you're talking about. She's she OG, man. <laughs> yeah. I get you OG. And that's exactly what I just told him. All your hoes, you can go with all of them. You can put them all in the blender. No me llegan ni al tobillo. Andale, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Good, and you're right. I, that's how I feel about my wife. The same way, like there's, if I could, I go out and do all kinds of shit, but for what? I have the best thing at home. But he doesn't see that. See, you see it. Oh no, he, he sees it. But the problem is, when you get sucked in, you start to give in to little things. And if you give someone an inch, they'll take a mile. So you need to be smarter than that, and that's why you need to do some changing, so you know how to put him in check. All right, let's go to the next three. It says, no temptations. So don't drink tonight, please, because you're, you're already very high strung with what he's telling you. It says, that will cut off your head and turn you upside down. It says, tied up with being defensive. So you're very defensive. You're still mad. You're not even ready to go back with him because you're still angry. No. Yep. You're angry. You're pissed. Mm -hmm. I would respect him more if he actually has, and I was the boss. Yeah, okay, you know what? If you tell me it's true, I messed up. I would respect him more. But the fact that you think that I'm that stupid and you keep denying it, it just enrages me more. Right. Of course. And that's unfortunate, it says. It says you just need to stand up for yourself so it's, everything's good. Here's your last card, and it says the world, which is interesting. It says money, relationships. So you've been talking to God? I mean, like talking to him or just praying to him? I pray and I do. I ask for signs. I ask for healing. I ask for me not to be so stupid to guide me, to give me. Today, I was driving home from taking my kids to work and I was talking and I got a sign. I got a, I got a feather out of nowhere driving inside the car. So I know I was hurt. So, I light my candles. I know my decisions are hurt because I see them. What candles are you lighting? White, just white candles. Okay, that's cool. I, I'm a very, very devout to something that. Okay. Because it says he's upside down with you for something. Oh, uh, I don't know. We'll find out right now. Okay. So, he doesn't want you to leave the marriage, but he does want you to change or it's going to hang you. So, in other words, it's like him telling you, don't do that. Don't touch the stove. It's hot. Don't touch the stove. It's hot. Don't touch the stove. It's hot. But then you keep touching it. Do you get what I'm saying? You've done this a lot with this man. So it's time to set the tone. You can tell me all you want about how I know I'm better than this and this and all this stuff. Prove it to me. But I don't follow through. That's right. Then you already know what I was going to say. Yeah. So it's time to follow through. It's time to put up or shut up. It says, yeah. then you can be lovers. It says, and then you don't have to worry about being weak. It says you won't be brought to your knees and you'll celebrate your relationship as he returns. It says, and even though the house may be turned around for a minute, you're not going to trust him right away. It says quickly, everything's going to work. So you need, to, you need to take some time with me. I think you really should. Okay. Okay. So you have, okay. you have 24 hours. I love hearing from you. I'm glad you're finally ready. We're, um, we're in the game now. She's in. Yeah. Okay, cool. 
Okay. You have any other questions? No, sir. You can use that be back into reality what I already was expecting, and I'll, I'll do it. I'm a soldier. I'll be there. Okay. Cool. That's for me, yeah. Yes, I wouldn't do anything to hurt you. You can ask all the girls. Presente y futuro, visible invisible. Por lo que quieres saber, quieres saber si va a tener cirugía en su rodilla y quieres saber qué es lo que está pasando. Y que Dios y los santos me revelen las respuestas de mis preguntas. First two cards coming out. Ooh. So it says, which is really weird, it says, my true love. So you're still in love with them. It says, there's some karma that's coming, so I don't know who that's for. It says, good thing, keep God in your corner. And then it says, in the past there was triumph. Presently, things are a little bit upside down, so I don't know what's transpired between you two because I thought that he was trying to come back, and then now suddenly things just got weird again. So, like I said, you need my help, and I need to help you. It's just that you got to look for me because I'm like so compounded with people that you got to look for me a little harder so that I can get to you. Um, and that's not an excuse, it's just it's really true. So, that says there's no sun at this moment or in the future. And it says he'll return, but only when you're upside down. So he has to kind of be in control of you. He wants to be the one who's always got you wondering about him or wanting him. And it's been like this your whole time. What? She said nothing we talk, but just kid stuff. Okay, so that's what I mean. Like, where, where we, what do you want to go with this? You have to decide if you're going to reel him in or... I mean, obviously you believe he's a true love. There's some karma he's paying for because he's fucking around, but... But I mean, if you want them, let's reel them in. What are we waiting for? It says, it says, um, you're at a place where you need to be where there's triumph, where you can win here. It says, you just need to make that decision, decide what you really want, but you're still angry. So you, you gotta decide. What? Said we got into it today. There I you told go. him I don't want him if he continues to be a dog. Ooh. You know, I almost barked when she's, when I heard that. <laughs> Because <laughs> cause I was a dog before. I mean, men have to have a reason to change. Like, what reason are you going to give them to change? Are you, you going to change a little bit you know, the way you are? I know none of us are perfect. I'm not saying it's your fault. I, I know you don't want to fuck around, and I totally get that. But at this point, like, it's got to be both. There's got to be some compromise on both sides. So, but you got to reel them in. And, you know, it's just so easy for you to keep kicking into the curb because you've already done it. So he knows that you're not fighting for him. That's what he wants. He's like a little kid. Um, I must not be enough for him. No, you're, you're enough for him. That's not, that's not what it is. It's the chase. Some guys can't get over the fucking chase. You know what I mean? They want the girl to chase them. And since you're not doing that like you were before, it's, it's what he's looking for to get that control again. It has nothing to do with you not being enough woman. You're more than enough. It just has to do with that. Trust me. Let's go to the cards. It says everything to be complete. It says be careful of temptations. Then it says you need a clean still. And then it talks about no end and then coming to cut off your head. So it's, you guys are just basically playing a game right now. You need my help to like finally solidify this and get this over with because you guys are going back and forth like little kids. So, I mean, come on, let's step it up or let's see what we're going to do here. It says the karma that's there, it says talks about family upside down but no destruction it says it shouldn't be a problem things are just incomplete i mean things are incomplete because we haven't we haven't come to a conclusion of what you want you want them to be completely changed but there's obviously two sides to this so rest assured that you got to make a decision here and it's telling me the same thing what does god say that says this man wants to return to love you but you're afraid of lies and deceit it says but you don't want to be alone so, so your world's upside down because you're caught in the middle. Either we're going to forgive him and this guy's going to keep his word or we're going to move on what? Yes. And she said, yes, we are, and it's a karma for him or me. For him? Yes. She better not be doing shit or I'm not going to help her. So 
If you said true on what we did you said right now. Yeah, I know it's true. That's why I'm starting to get annoyed. We need to handle this because it's starting, it's starting to annoy me. We need to take care of this. So make sure that we get a hold of more. Just take care of guys. Fred, what? I'm sorry, I've been a dog. And then there's runners <laughs> and cashers, givers and takers. Chasers. Chasers. It's true. It's fucking true. We all play into one game or another. All of us play into it. Sad. Okay. So you finally find the person that doesn't want to play no more. It's either man up or shut up. You know what I mean? That goes with both sides of you guys. Stop fucking playing games. Start treating a guy when you're a girl. Stop trying to fucking act hard when you're not. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Lord, help me. So let's check your knee. It says... So it's telling me that, I don't know, this is something from the past that happened from your knee and it's now starting to build up. But it's telling me they're going to try to do something else first, but then they're going to do surgery, but not the normal kind of surgery. They're going to do the surgery with the three little prongs. And they're going to go in and fix your knee. Um, I don't know if it's going to be your meniscus or something like that, but they're going to do that first. So they're not going to cut you open. They're going to use a three, I forget what it's called, lithoscopy. They're going to do lithoscopy on you first. So, and that's going to probably fix what you got going. So not a big deal. It's like three days later, you're fine. It's not a big deal. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. With Wilson, we, like I said, we just, you need to make up your mind, girlfriend. Seriously. It says, um. She says, yes, meniscus is torn. There it is. So that's how you know I know. But at the end of the day, like, you'll be cool. They'll repair it with that. You don't have to worry about, like, big surgery. They're not going to cut you open. Um, they're going to probably do a little rehab first and see if they can get a little stronger before they go in there so that when they pull in the meniscus and sew it up, um, it won't cause you any problems. But but definitely, uh, that's where you're at. But we'll, girl, you, you just need to decide. Like, we're done. I mean, we ain't in high school no more. Like, we ain't playing no more games. Like, you want him? Then let's make a deal and get him and, and let's see what we can do. And if you still want to play games with him, like, just, it's killing me. Him not to cheat. I'm afraid to get played. Okay, so we gotta make that deal. We gotta bring it to the table. We gotta tell him, look, we're really willing to be with you, but if you fuck up again, like, he's gotta give her something. Give her everything he has. Who gives a fuck? He's gotta make that deal to prove it. Because otherwise, she's not gonna ever feel comfortable with him. None of you would ever feel comfortable. All of you guys are girls. Are you ever gonna fully trust the person? Well, not you, Tony, sorry. But are you ever gonna, well, actually, in the Asian video, you look like a girl. But, um, are you ever gonna fully trust anybody that's hurt you? It's hard. I mean, it'll take years, right? Yeah. It'll take, I mean, everybody can, can rectify, but it takes years. It's not something like in a year you're like, oh, I'm cool with it. It takes like fucking eight, nine, ten years. More. I make that <laughs> deal and he breaks it. Okay, well, that's why we're going to make a deal that's going to cost him something. It's going to cost him a lot. If he's willing to sign that deal, then, then you know that he ain't going to fuck it up. Whether it's money or his... Belongings, I don't give a fuck what we're gonna make that deal.